Hello and welcome to Badminton Unlimited. Coming up, two-time world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara open up on their recent struggles on court. Busanan Ongban Rungpan and her coach are back with more handy fitness tips. And we go behind the scenes in Santander, Spain, which recently hosted the BWF World Junior Championships. With back-to-back -back world titles and an overpowering presence, Mayo Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara were well primed to bring home an Olympic medal for Japan. But pressure and nerves overwhelmed them, forcing the women's pair out in the quarterfinals at Tokyo 2020. Two episodes of injury to Nagahara followed, adding to their disappointments. えっと、東京オリンピックのまあ、メダルを目標として 私たちが先にこうリードして、まあ、ポイントを取ってたんですけど、まあ、そこから追いつかれてしまって、ずっとこう、ルーツのような形で、まあ、すごいなんかその瞬間にこう緊張が走ったというか、あまりいいパフォー
Okay. 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 My name is Ice. So today we're going to um, show you how we preparing before the match. So Busanan going to stretching first from the lower part. Yeah. Start from the ankle, get a little bit lighter of stretching. So she start going to higher part. So this is very important. She trying to move her hip, stretching her hip. It's very important for badminton. So normally, when we starting from lighting stretch, we doing around 10 to 15 minutes. So now we're going to do a little more mobility. So she will add some movement a little bit since she's stretching. So the next one, she's going to start with um, running a little bit really light running to activate her movement higher knee yep higher knee uh, try to get her hip inside and outside activate her knee her hip so activate her hamstring so next we're going to use the brand resistance to activate her hip a little more. We use resistance to get more movement on her hip. Two shuffle slide. One, two. Okay. So the next exercise from the lower part, we go to the higher part. That is your uh, that is her shoulder. So move her shoulder higher. Uh, get wire to get ready for her swing. We're going to um, higher resistance. So we're going to use the band to get her movement ready and her core strength ready. Um, we're going to do a um, speed step to make her move like shadow badminton. Going to the front, so four times is good. Like two. Try to pull her in a little bit more to get her core ready. So she needs to balance her movement as well. And now she are ready, so you can see she's sweating. So she ready to um, get in on court.
It's time for a quick break, but when we return, Indonesia's Chico Ora Dwi Wardoyo talks about his breakthrough season. Yang kemarin main tiga set terus udah nggak ada capek. Plus, we pit two very experienced doubles pairs in the ultimate air shuttle juggle-off. What a moment for Chico Auradui Wardoyo. When Chico Auradui Wardoyo finally clinched his first ever World Tour title in Malaysia early this year, it was his statement of intent. Having been used to watching the limelight shine brightest on Anthony Sinisuka Ginting and Jonathan Christie, the 24-year-old hopes his triumph will convince Indonesian fans they have another men's singles ace capable of cutting it at the elite level. Seneng sih, ya. Yeah. Yeah, seneng bisa, ya yeah, karena kemarin kan habis, ya yeah, ada dapat gelar di Malaysia. Ya pastinya masih senang juga sampai sekarang. Ya pastinya dengan latihan ya, ya merasakan ada perkembangan yang signifikan juga bisa sampai bisa sampai di sini. Terutama ya dua tahun belakangan ini bisa lebih enjoy sih, bisa lebih enjoy, bisa lebih menikmati permainan saya di pas waktu di kejuaraan, pas waktu di lapangan, sama pas di latihan juga. Ya jadi bisa keluarin semua kemampuan yang saya miliki. Cukup excited sih pengen ya pengen ambil gelar juga di situ, cuman ya tidak berhasil terlalu terbawa emosi mungkin ya di lapangan jadi kurang fokus gitu di pola main. Senang juga bisa masuk lapan. Cuman ya, waktu itu kan uh, Kojo juga masuk 8 gitu. Jadi kayak pengen banget gitu ketemu di semifinal final gitu. Pengen banget tuh ketemu. Nggak kayak sampai jauh-jauh sana lu. Gue sini, nggak sampai gitu. Overall sih puas sama permainan di semifinal. Ya, bisa keluar semua sih. Kojo juga bermain dengan sangat baik. Ya, pastinya dia juga pengen menang, saya juga pengen menang. Jadi ya, fight-nya sangat baik. Di game pertama ya bisa nyolong gitu kan poinnya setting double sama fokus nih kalau bisa ambil mungkin insya Allah yang satu daya bisa lebih lebih tenang kan. Nah udah alhamdulillah tuh bisa ngambil kan set pertama. Nah set keduanya dianya malah jadi ragu-ragu gitu banyak mati sendiri. Nah di situ ya coba buat tetap uh, ambil kesempatan gitu. Jadi tetap menekan ambil kesempatan. Soalnya dianya juga lagi enggak enak. Itu kayak capeknya udah nggak ada rasa capek lagi gitu. Yang kemarin main tiga set terus udah nggak ada capek. Seneng banget sih itu sampai ya udah nggak mikir apa apa lagi. Cuman eh, cuman ya seneng banget. Gitu. Ya, pastinya termotivasi juga pengen seperti mereka. Nah, di situ juga ya suka sharing juga sih sama ya Aginting, Jonathan, Kojo, Mas Vito sih juga. Ya suka sharing gitu ke mereka. Mereka juga kayak terbuka juga ke saya gitu. Jadinya enak. Udah kayak keluarga juga sih gitu. Jadi suka sharing gitu. Jadi nggak kayak masing-masing satu ini, satu ini enggak gitu. Jadi kita kayak Ngumpul bareng gitu, terus sharing apa, apa yang kurang. Yang paling pertama ya, 
pengen banget tuh apa main di lapangan tuh pengen enjoy pokoknya pengen menikmati permainan gitu jadi nggak usah mikir tentang salah atau apa yang jangan apa terlalu mikir ke depan gitu pengen fokus ke satu permainan satu permainan gitu menurut saya ya ada peningkatan kecil itu juga suatu pencapaian yang baik jadinya ya step by step menurut saya. Hi everyone, I'm Terry and this is my wife Jessica. We are from Singapore. We are here for a special challenge and we don't know what is it about but we are supposed to choose one out of these items from here. <laughs> Do you recommend not to take this? <laughs> I take this then. <laughs> I will go first because I'm the better spot. Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Four, seven, four, eight, four, nine, fifteen. Do I look very stupid? Five, one, five, two, three, five, one. Sorry! <laughs> I'm not tired, are you? 8969 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Woah! 11 35, 36, 37, 38 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 Woah! 4, 4, 4, 5 60 already right? Okay 60. You don't know how to count 63, 64, 65 89, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, stop. 87, no, 85. Huh? 85 plus 2. <laughs> <sighs> Good game. Good game. Who's the winner? You are the winner. Thank congrats, you, thank congrats. You, thank you. Record holder. 100 times. <laughs> Jaguar. <laughs> yes. Nah, this is your gift. <laughs> this is your gift. Hello, I'm Rovinda Pachongchai. Hello, I'm Jongun Phan Kiti Thalakun. We will choose the this one first. So I shoot this. And I shoot this.
It was a special moment for badminton in Santander recently. From the 17th to the 30th of October, the north coastal city of Spain staged the comeback of the BWF World Junior Championships after three years. Rocked by the global pandemic, the annual BWF major event was cancelled since 2020 before its successful return at the Palacio de Deportes de Santander. It was great relief and it was good to have this junior championship back again. This is the future of our badminton players and we want to bring it back and uh, with the help of the uh, Spain Badminton and BWF, we finally managed to have it, to host it in September in Spain. With over 400 players from more than 40 countries on show and numerous officials to take care of, it was no easy feat for the Spanish Badminton Federation, also known as FESPA. But with an experienced and dedicated organizing team, the host knew exactly what was expected. A ver, nuestro principal objetivo es hacer una experiencia única para los jugadores en este torneo. Son muchas competiciones las que hemos albergado en nuestros últimos 20 años aquí en España, del máximo nivel, el Campeonato del Mundo Junior Individual por Equipo es la segunda vez que lo organizamos aquí. Y, y como te decía, uno de los principales objetivos es que hacer todo lo posible para que la competición eh, cumpla los estándares de la Federación Internacional, pero que al mismo tiempo eh, los jugadores que están en este nivel y que van a pasar a, al máximo nivel mundial en los próximos años. El campeonato del 2016 fue todo un éxito, eh, tanto la Federación Española como las instituciones, de, de, en este caso del País Vasco, quedaron muy satisfechas y eh, cuando hemos vuelto a tener oportunidad de traer un evento de estas características a España, eh, con los primeros que hablamos fue con Santander y hasta el día de hoy yo creo que eh, tenemos que estar todos orgullosos de que hemos cubierto las expectativas con Crece, tanto las, las propias que tenía la Federación Española como de las instituciones Cántabra y, y de Santander. Even the existing structural limitations of the Palacio de Deportes de Santander did not stop the organizers from delivering a top-class badminton tournament. When I came in saw for the site visit, it was what I saw and it was completely a Lee Fabrice uh, event and uh, leave it to Spain Badminton and the tournament director, Alberto. He's on top of it and they have done a great job. A ver, uno de los... De lo de las cuestiones que han sido más importantes superar eh, en esta competición la organización de esta comisión era precisamente la adecuación de, del Palacio de Deportes. Eh, se trata de un, de un recinto que es completamente redondo, donde la superficie, hemos tenido que crear una superficie a dos para las pistas alrededor de, de todo el palacio y también el sistema de iluminación, que el que había aquí pues no era el, el adecuado. Y digamos que estos han sido dos de, la, de los retos a los que nos hemos enfrentado con mayor envergadura. The return of the World Junior Championships has given the Globe's elite young talents the best available platform to pit their skills against each other. Ultimately, for everyone else who has connected, it's about making sure badminton continues to mesmerize for years to come. I think it's just been such an amazing experience seeing the whole different level that there is, seeing all the different countries here, and I've loved every second of it. We are not as far as we, th as we thought that we are. We are near, I think, but I think we can, we can do our good results. And we, we did, we reached quarterfinals. This is the future of badminton. This is where all the champions, the current players, who have been the champions now, they are all part of this great event. Bueno, 
Os diría que eh, en España solo queda una competición por organizar a nivel internacional y es mi deseo poder cerrar el círculo organizando la Toma Silver Cup, que es la única competición que no se ha albergado en España y creo que podría decir que si conseguimos eso seríamos el único país eh, que hemos conseguido organizar todos los campeonatos del mundo que existen en este momento. That's all the time we have for now. And next week, three-time world champion Zhang Siwei gets down to the nitty-gritty with veteran stringer Tim Willis. What's the most popular string among the players? At the moment, it's still BG80. BG80. Uh, white. In the meantime, you can get the latest updates from the HSBC BWF World Tour by downloading the Babington For You app. It's bye-bye for now.